This is a course intended to teach computer programming to people who have never written a program before. I'm assuming a basic level of knowledge of how to operate your computer, but you don't need to have written any computer programs before. You don't need to have taken any computer science courses. I'm going to be using Windows as the example because that's what I have in front of me and that's what most people have in front of them. But the principles should apply regardless of what operating system you're using. I'm also going to be using Ruby as the programming language. But again, the principles should apply regardless of what programming language you choose to use. Now, as you can see, we're looking at the Ruby Lang website. This is a good resource for starting out with Ruby. It has pretty much all the information you ever need about the Ruby programming language, including documentation. Uh, for example, if you're looking for details on a particular feature of Ruby, there is a core reference contains details on all the different classes that are provided with Ruby. Another thing that it provides is the Pragmatic Programmer's Guide, which is a nice friendly introduction to Ruby. And of course it includes a download page, which allows you to download the Ruby interpreter. If you scroll down here, you can see that there are different versions of Ruby available. I'm going to be using the Ruby installer, and I'm going to be using version 1.8.7. Here's the link to the installer. As you're going through the installation process, you can install the program pretty much wherever you want, but I do recommend that you check these two checkboxes. Add Ruby executables to your path means that you can type Ruby from a command prompt in any directory and it will be able to find it. And the other one, associate RB and RBW files with this Ruby installation, ensures that if you tell Windows to execute a, a file with an RB extension, it will know how to do that. Now when it comes to entering Ruby programs, like most programs, they're just text files. So you can use Notepad, which comes with Windows, but I don't recommend it. It won't give you a very good experience. There are many other programs out there that will edit text files that are designed to Use, be used with programming. And here's one example. It's called Notepad++. Here's what it looks like. We can enter a Ruby program right now. The command puts, or put s, it stands for put string, simply produces a string on the screen. So we're going to use the traditional example, a program that simply says hello world on the screen when you run it. Saving a copy. In a folder that I've created. Now to run the program, we're going to need a command prompt. Which is called CMD EXE. There's the program. And there it is, and it prints hello world. Since we associated the RB file extension with Ruby, we can just type hello RB, and that also works. And one other thing, there's another executable for Ruby called IRB. It stands for Interactive Ruby. And this allows you to enter Ruby commands at the console and see them executed immediately.